Hello, I'm Marion Newman and I'm here with Lisa and we're going to talk about looking after your nails. So Lisa, your nails are absolutely gorgeous now, but during, during your whole period of treatment, did you have any issues with your nails that worried you? Yeah, they, I had quite a few issues. They were very sore, they went very yellow, they went very flaky and at one point my fingers were actually longer than my nails, so it was very mm. painful. I mean, I think people that go through that treatment, they have lots of different things that happen. I mean, you had a bit of a list of mm. horrors. Yeah. Um, but other people can have a different list of horrors or maybe they can have no horrors at all. Mm. Um, so it can go from absolutely nothing to the worst scenario, which is actually shedding nails, which yeah. is the worst mm. thing. Um, and it's really difficult to know what to do. One thing I, I can pretty much say is absolutely safe and is safe for everybody mm. is oil. Yeah, exactly. If you do nothing else, yeah use oil and hand cream yeah. but if you want an oil that's going to like help moisturize the surrounding skin but also going to help the condition of your nails which is really important mm -hmm. two main oils that you should look for when you go out and buy a yeah. nail oil is jojoba and avocado they are the only oils that actually help the nail itself yeah. i would recommend anybody to use a good nail oil yeah. at least daily. And I found as well that with constantly using antibacterial um, drying, gel, yeah, um, drying, so, very drying. Um, I used to make sure that I used the oil after that. As well. Yeah, and hand cream. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're yeah. really, if you're really good, you really should use hand cream every time you wash your hands. Yeah. So you had a horrible list of things. Yeah. You obviously did the right thing mm -hmm. because your nails are looking fabulous. Mm -hmm. And you obviously didn't do anything that made the situation worse. No. I resisted all temptation to try and make them look pretty. From your description of how your nails are, I'm glad you resisted that temptation. <laughs> I think um, a UV gel polish is probably at the bottom of the list of treatments and services that you can have. Several reasons. Um, one of them is mostly, most brands, you need to file the surface of the nail. When nails are thin and they're delicate, and especially if they're painful mm. as they were, in, that is the last thing that you want to be yeah, you want to happen. Definitely. It's going to make them thinner yeah. and more painful. Mm. So that's one thing. Not all brands need that, but most do. The second thing is a UV gel polish is has actually got quite a high level of allergens in it. So with a compromised immune system. If you're going to become allergic to something, you're going to become allergic when you've got more than enough to yeah. deal with. But when nails are in that delicate situation, mm. I think it's best to avoid. There are ways of making your, your nails look pretty yeah. without going that far. Plus there's the whole removal situation, mm. both with gel polish and with enhancements. Mm -hmm. it means soaking in acetone. People aren't allergic to acetone, mm. but acetone is so drying with compromised skin with dry skin, with thin skin, dryness is what you want to avoid all the time. Yeah. So although acetone itself isn't a problem, the effect of it on compromised skin and nails is really yeah. best avoided for a while. I have actually been considering um, going and having a treatment, but I'm just really confused as to you know, what would be the best treatment and what, what sort of salon I should really be looking to go to. Well, the condition of your nails now are pretty perfect mm. actually. Okay. So you could probably have any treatment you fancy. There's the problem, where do you go? So first of all, I would say um, avoid the discount salons. Okay. And by discount, I mean they, they charge such a small amount for treatments. There's a reason mm. that it's cheap. You know, you do on the whole get what you pay for. Mm. So avoid the discount salons that say, for example, if you were looking to have a gel polish, you see some places that charge £10 maybe, yeah. that's not, that's a discount salon. Yeah. They can't possibly have everything in place uh, for a good, safe treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the products might be a bit of a problem. They might not have suitable hygiene uh, procedures in place. So avoid the discount okay. salons. Mm -hmm. Go to a salon, first of all, looks the part that mm -hmm. looks very smart. And when you go in, it's good to see certificates on the wall. Okay. It's also very good to see a desk that is immaculately clean. And also I think it is perfectly valuable and a very good thing to do is to ask what their hygiene system is. Okay. The highest level of hygiene in 
any salon actually, um, beauty or nails, is an autoclave. If it isn't an autoclave for all the metal implements, it should at least be hospital grade sterilizing solution. It should at least be that. Yeah. So all of these things, they, they, they all go to show you that you're going to a salon that actually knows what they're doing. So it's probably worth um, booking an appointment and maybe chatting to somebody over the phone before you go in to make sure that you know, they know that you've had treatment. Yeah, but Thank before, when you, when you said your nails were painful and when you said your nails were shorter than your fingers, I mean, that is the time when you really shouldn't have anything like that. You shouldn't let anybody touch them, yeah. really, because okay. they're, they're far too delicate. Yeah. So that's all really interesting. Um, would you would give me the same advice with, with my feet? Because my, my feet have been really, really sore and my toenails have suffered as well. They're very similar, but, and I think some people like mistake them as being too similar and, and treat them in the same way. Now, the feet does, they do have their whole set of issues that are different from your hands. If you think about it logically, your feet are tucked away in a warm, moist environment. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but, <laughs> and that can cause all manner of issues because the skin stays soft, um, the nails stay soft, which opens it up to all sorts of infections and the tiniest little cut or the tiniest little nick can set up another reaction, whether your immune system is compromised or not. Yeah. If there is anything at all that is wrong during your treatment with the skin on your feet or the nails, never go and have any treatment whatsoever in a nail salon. The only people that can look or touch your feet is a podiatrist. It must be in the medical sphere. Are they better now? They're getting they're there. Getting they're getting there. Get, they're getting there. They, it's interesting that you said about infections because I did actually have a slight infection in, in, in two of the toenails and I was put on antibiotics for, for those. Um, one of the things that uh, very often happens for people going through treatment is the loss of particularly the big toenail or maybe the little toenail because the little toenail gets rubbed off basically with yeah. shoes and the big toenail just because it, it's hitting your shoes all the time it's the same problem that sports people have and so many people that play sports or, or run lose their big toenail. There is this cover that, that you can get it's like a gel cover and, and you can find it on the internet that you can put over the end of your big toe that'll stop it rubbing against shoes. Until your nails and skin are completely healthy, don't go and have a pedicure in a nail salon. Go and see a podiatrist, yeah. that's fine. If, you, if your toenails need trimming or, you know, if you're not sure actually what to do with them, then a, a podiatrist, mm -hmm. the, a podiatrist is the same as a chiropodist. Yeah. It's just the current terminology. Yeah. They're called podiatrists now. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, go and see the medical side until yeah. your feet are completely healthy. Mm -hmm. No nail professional should touch feet that okay. are anything less than healthy. And if they do, they're not within their realm of expertise right. at all. Okay. But you can paint your own nails if you want to. <laughs> Just don't let anybody else for now. Oh, right, okay. And again, oil. Um, I wouldn't use, um, you know, what's called a cheese grater to get rid of hard oh, skin. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. use one of those again because no. your, your, your skin is probably still yeah. a little bit compromised. But you could use um, you know, a very gentle foot cream that's got an exfoliant in okay. for hard skin. You could quite safely use yeah. that. Okay. Um, and put a bit of nail polish on, yeah. it's okay. fine. Paint your nails, but no cheese graters. No, okay, I'll give that, I definitely won't do that.